Hey, it's me. I know you can't stand to be in the same room as me, so I just thought I'd try and apologize over the phone. All... Oh. Oh. Hello? <laughs> Look, I never should have kissed your girlfriend, and I'm... <laughs> At least he kept the furniture. Hey, hey, this is 92.3 WXR. What is the name of your roommate who is very, very sorry? Oh, and... it's Chandler. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Was gonna be this way. The job's a joke, bro. Ugh, turkey. Ugh. Oh, oh, it's Thanksgiving. Ugh. Everyone, it's the spirit of Thanksgiving. <laughs> Things with you and Joey any better? Couldn't be worse. I spent eight hours calling him last night just trying to get him to talk to me. So you could probably really use one of those plug-in telephone headsets, huh? Should we all expect Christmas gifts that can be stolen from your office? <laughs> you shouldn't. <laughs> Speaking of Christmas, and have like no money. Um, oh yeah, that's right. They're doing the catering thing together. And then we each only buy yeah. one gift. And the added mystery of, you know, who gets who. Who gets whom? Don't know why I do that. <laughs> why not do a white elephant one? You ever, you ever do that kind of Christmas thing? Uh, yeah, yeah, I've actually done a couple Christmases, the white elephant thing. By any chance, did either of you pick uh, Rachel for your secret Santa? Because I want to trade for her. I picked her. Oh, thank God you want her. Why do you want her? Wow, why do you want to get rid of her so badly? Because she exchanges every gift she ever gets. It's like impossible. Oh, dang, really? True, that's not true. I got her that backpack and she loved it. I remember how much she was crying the day that big dog ran off with... Wow. Well, there was no big dog. <laughs> So I already got her this briefcase, and I had RG put on it. Well, maybe you can give it to somebody else. I mean, maybe she would like that. The big game's about to start. You don't have to do that. Ross and Joey aren't here. You can watch the parade if you want. Thanks. That's a tradition in my family. Ow! Oh my God, what happened? Oh, my God, I just got in my eye. People are trying to sleep in here. <laughs> oh, you know, I can't. It really kills. Well, maybe you should put some ice on it. <laughs> Honey, maybe we should take you to a doctor. No, my eye doctor is Richard. He's really picky about his patients. <laughs> okay, you've got to go. What's his office number? Like, I remember his office number. Of course you do. Speed dial seven. <laughs> Speed dials. He's out of town, but does she want to see the on-call doctor? Yes! Yes! She's very excited about that. When Monica gets back, it's like on head chef. Oh. Oh, that's too much butter. I told you to follow the recipe exactly. Okay, get out of my kitchen. I think I am making some progress with Joey. Slammed the door once. And yeah, he gave me the finger while doing it. I gotta call my mom and ask her left-handed cooking question. I picked Monica for Secret Santa. I was wondering if you want to switch. Oh, you know what? I was trying to trade for, uh, <clears throat> well, you. Really? Wow, that's, that's so nice. Well, what are you gonna get me? <laughs> I don't know, RG. I was thinking something girly for your office. <laughs> <laughs> And you're gonna get stuck with Rachel and she exchanges every gift she ever gets. Oh, that's not true. I got her lots of stuff she never took back. Like that uh, gold necklace I got her last year. Well, she wore it all Christmas Day and then, uh... <laughs> Big dog. Hey. Oh. Hey. What are you doing? Send him back all this stuff oh. that Chandler bought out of guilt. I know what he did was wrong, but don't you think you could at least hear the guy out? Back when you and Rachel were together, if Chandler had kissed her, would you hear him out? It's a good point. No. How long are you to punish him? Five years. Sentenced him? Hey, don't do the crime if you can't do the time. How did you come up with five years? He's your best friend. Oh, well, was my best friend. With him out of the way as my best friend, there's a spot open. <laughs> oh, who, me? Yeah. Oh, wow. yeah, I'm honored. You know what I'm going to do as my first act as your best friend? I'm going to get you to talk to Chandler. So nice, though. All right. Oh, but if you weren't my best friend... <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Is it really that bad? Just mumble something. Are they together now, then? I, I guess so. He only knows the bad words. <laughs> okay, I don't know how I feel. Oh, oh no. Have you, uh, have you seen Chandler? But, um, one of you's over there. Wrong timing. Oh my god. That's even worse timing. Hey, Joe. Vaffanapoli, huh? <laughs> what? <laughs> you like curse him out? They actually let him say that on TV? Thanks for coming in. How cute is the on-call doctor? No. Oh, so cute that I'm thinking about jamming this. Dr. Richard Burke is out of town. Dr. Timothy Burke, his son, will see you now. 
Oh my god. Ready? Oh! There's no way. What Could you know? imagine? <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. That. No. Where are you going, Joey? When you when you coming back? I don't know. Might stay there for a few days while I look for an apartment. Yeah, you know, uh, at first I thought we could talk about this, you know, work it out, but uh, seeing you two together, I don't... Uh... Hey, look, what do you want me to say? Do you want me to say that I'll stop seeing her? No, it's not about her. I want to live with someone who doesn't know what it is to be a friend. So, I'll see. Hey, look, I know what it is to be a friend. I just, I screwed up. Yeah, you did. And that's why I'm leaving. The guy was robbing us and I was locked in the entertainment unit for like six hours. Do you know what I was doing in there all that time? I was thinking about how I let you down. Well, yeah. There has to be something that I can do, something. I would get in there for six hours and think about how I let you down. Oh, God. <laughs> he's, no thinking about no, no, he's gonna build a box. We got a box. <laughs> That's actually better than him leaving, though. <laughs> oh, I mean, honestly. Oh. Gotta tell you, you look great now. You look great, too. You're an excellent patient. <laughs> I have to wear a patch for a couple of days. Like a pirate? <clears throat> so how long have you been working with your dad? Come on, one of us had to mention him. I, I moved back here a couple months ago. I was gonna have Thanksgiving at my girlfriend's. Oh. oh. But we broke up. Oh? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> That's so awkward. I'm ready for a serious commitment. Oh. He's coming here for Thanksgiving? I know, it's sick. Why is it sick? Because it's Richard's son. Yeah, you can't, I don't know. You... I, it's just, it's so, it's so uncomfortable in a way. It's like you used to date the father, now you date the son. Sorry, honey, I think it's twisted. Yeah. yeah. What's <laughs> twisted? Me going out with Richard's son. Ew! <laughs> Even Joey doesn't agree with it. Sounds like a really bad idea to me. <laughs> he in there? He's fine. <laughs> oh, Joey. If things work out between you and Richard's son, you'll be able to tell your kids that you slept with her grandfather. Oh my goodness. Fine, judge all you want to, but married a lesbian, left a man at the altar, fell in love with a gay ice dancer, threw a girl's wooden leg in the fire, live in a box. Wow. Mm, what exactly is the point of the box? It gives me the time to think about what I did. Two, it proves how much I care about my friendship with Joey. It hurts. <laughs> you remember that necklace I gave you last year? Oh, Can no, I see don't, it? You don't want to hear it. Why? I just want to check something. Okay. There's no way. There's no way. She's going to go find another one. Oh, we'll see. Air hole. Air hole. Air hole. I love it. I wear it all the time. That's not what? gold. Oh, that's the wrong one. The necklace I got you was gold. This is yeah. silver. It, uh, it changed. Uh, you actually exchanged it. Well, isn't it better that I exchange it for something that I enjoy? Hi. Thank you. So is he okay with My this friends. too? And Rachel? <clears throat> That's Chandler. Um, he, well, he's um. He's doing some thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Joey's mad. Like you can see on the face. <laughs> what happened? What happened? You kissed my girlfriend. <laughs> How long is he gonna be in there? Probably six oh, hours. I like the sunglasses. <laughs> like him, like him, or I'd like to get store credit for that amount, like. Vaffanapoli. <laughs> you can use the fancy soap. Fancy soap? I thought we were saving that for the Pope. He's nice, right? Really want to be in a relationship where you can actually use the phrase, that's not how your dad used to do it. <laughs> oh, baby. Oh, my goodness. Wow, everything looks great. Oh, I'll get it. Oh, God, who's that? Gotcha. <laughs> I think you got too much thinking to do to be talking and making jokes. Okay, okay, you got it. Ross, could you pass me the yams? Sure, if you want to exchange them. Will you stop? We've got company. I'm not completely devoid of sentiment. See, I have feelings. Okay, Ooh. fine. Oh, she has the necklace, doesn't she? There's no way she still has it. Why would she show You can't it? tell, but I'm trying to break the tension by mooning you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. Joey. 
If this is just a big joke to you, then forget about it, right? This means something to me. And if it doesn't mean anything to you, then you should get out of there. I'm sorry, this this means a lot to me. I want you to be my friend again. I swear I won't say another word tonight. So you're gonna start taking this thing seriously? Absolutely. That sounds like another word to me. <laughs> okay. Don't say that I have no sentiment. No. This is a movie stub from our first date. This is an oh. eggshell from the first time you made me breakfast. This is from the museum. The first time... We... Okay, maybe I exchange gifts sometimes, but I keep the things that matter. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. You're not supposed to take these. Ross, Ross. <laughs> <laughs> Ross. I knew it was coming. I was oh. like... In years old, we... <laughs> we actually... We have people looking for that. Oh, that was amazing. She actually oh, the This always off. happens. Yeah, let me uh... I hope he knows about her and his dad. You no, know, my friends all think this is weird. You know, I, I thought it was oh, going to be weird. I mean, I almost called to cancel, but... It... Me and your dad, that's a totally separate thing. Oh, totally agree. <laughs> wow, okay. Oh, shit. Oh. Oh. What? Nothing. Oh, my God, it didn't remind you of my... Oh, don't say it! No, but it did, didn't it? Yes! Oh, man! I know! Yeah. Oh. Why? Hey. I want you to know how sorry yes. I am. It's okay. Is he here? In the box. Oh, he, he can't talk right now. Why not? What's going on? Well, he's, he's trying to show Joey how much he means to him. By being in a box? You not being able to talk might actually make this easier. Oh. Listen, um... She's breaking up with him. Already? I don't want to be someone who comes between two best friends. And I don't want to be the cause of that. I don't think we can see each other anymore. Wow. I'm going to go to my mom's. I think this could have been something really amazing. <laughs> but, you know, this is probably for the best. You know? Like, I know you can't I'm going to miss but... you. So sad. Open the box. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be fine. Get out. Man, this is. <laughs> 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 now go, because you can still catch her. And Merry Christmas from your secret Santa. All right, who got Chandler? Because I, I need to trade. Oh. <laughs> 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 he even was thinking Joey actually just did that. <laughs> I'm glad it only lasted one episode. Up to her. Oh, she sees him. It's taking her purse. Oh my god. Uh, that's not them. Oh. I'm gonna go call the police. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Oh, there they are. All right, get a room. Hey. Come on, no peeking. Our eyes are closed. We're about to cross the street. Oh my god. That's all I can see is this. Bitchin' van! <laughs> yeah, it's for our catering business. Oh. oh. I think I know that girl. We're gonna paint over the sore and replace it with a baguette. Um, also, we don't know what to do with this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Monica's meant to be with Richard, though. I feel like it's been so long. That's, that's the only thing is I, I don't know. I feel like the time was like passed on the Richard saga yeah. after she and him like tried doing the friends with benefits thing. See, I'm telling you, I'm going to ride this theory all the way to the end of the show. I'm telling you, it's going to be Chandler and Monica. Because the two of them keep having on and off relationships with other people. Remember that guy from cooking school I told you about that put cilantro in everything? Oh, sure, Cilantro Larry. I'm gonna fill in for him as food critic for the Chelsea Reporter. Did you have said yes? What about our catering business? Oh, no, no, it's just one night a week. Plus, I get to take all of you out for a lot of free dinners. Hey. Oh, well, in that case, <laughs> hey. Are you ready to party? There's this thing about bumblebees on the Discovery Channel. <laughs> no, no, I don't think you heard me. To party? No. Gandalf? Gandalf is coming to town? Kathy's with her parents. Wait, I have what? nothing to do, so tomorrow we are partying with Gandalf, dude! Now, is that from Lord of the Rings or an actual person? <laughs> I am so confused. Who is Gandalf? 
Okay. Mike Gandalf Ganderson. Only oh. like the funnest guy in the world. I'm gonna call and get off work tomorrow. I'm gonna call after you. Well, oh, dude, we never party yeah. anymore. <laughs> what do you mean we never have fun anymore? You have fun with me. Remember the time we saw those strippers and you paid me 50 bucks to eat that book? You are gonna love this guy. Gandalf is like the party wizard. Well, wh why do you call him Gandalf? Lord of the Rings in high school? No, I had sex in high school. <laughs> <laughs> Joanna, I was wondering if I could ask you something. There's an opening for an assistant buyer in Junior Miss. Okay, but that would actually be a big step down for me. <laughs> no, actually, I meant oh my for God. me. I wish I could say no, but I guess you can't stay my assistant forever. <sighs> Neither can you, Sophie, but for different reasons. Oh. What? <laughs> Why is Sophie always picked on? I know, seriously. I'm on the hiring committee, so there'll be at least one friendly face. Ooh. Oh, that's great. I had to sleep with the ugliest guy to get that job. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why'd you say no? Don't you worry, I'm sure with your qualifications, you won't need to sleep with some guy to oh. get the job. <laughs> <laughs> Although, uh, I might need some convincing. Well, uh, kidding. <laughs> Will you calm down? He's just a human you don't understand. Gandalf is amazing. I'm gonna watch him be so different. He's not gonna be amazing like they remember. He's gonna be older now and like not even want to party. Mm. Okay, I got my passport, fresh socks, and a snake bite kit. What do you need a passport for? It's not gonna be exactly like last time. All right, I'll see you guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have an audition, but I'll definitely hook up with you later. Hello. It's Gandalf. <laughs> well, maybe next time then. Oh. What happened? He's not gonna make it. He's stuck in Chicago. Oh, man. Dang. Chicago's go. so lucky. Canadian money. <laughs> Where did they think they were going? I don't know. <laughs> like, they were going around the world. Very impressive resume, Ms. Green. I especially like what I see here about implementing a new filing system. You mean those, those little colored labels you put on all the folders? It certainly did brighten up the inside of the filing cabinets. <laughs> She's sabotaging her. Well, they, Joanna really has been an incredible mentor to me. It's been really incredible at getting my morning bagel for me. It's amazing how she gets it right almost every time. Very <laughs> two things at once. <laughs> A big part of this job is cultivating personal relationships. Yes, I realize Rachel that. Rachel shouldn't have any problem with that. Her only problem might be getting a little too friendly, if you know what I mean. <laughs> with them, under them. What's the difference, eh, Rach? I can't believe she did that. I know, seriously. <laughs> like, that's so wrong. Oh, the Chelsea Reporter. Uh, these used to keep me so warm. Ooh, I gotta go. I found a guy who could fix up the van for catering. Oh, do you want me to go with you? No, no, it's okay. But are we sure we don't want the water bed? Hi. Hi. Who is it? It's Alessandro from Alessandro's. Oh. Oh my God. I want to talk to you about your review. Look, I I'm never going to let you up, so you may as well just go away. Look, just give me a chance to. Hey, do you need to get in? Here you go. No, baby. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> Why is she like Leave this? It to Fraction. Oh, Our food him. is not inedible swill. Who's that? I couldn't eat it. I have five friends who couldn't eat it. You said that we accept the Discover card, which we do not. Stand by my review. I'm, I know food, and that wasn't it. Your marinara sauce tastes like tomato juice. You should serve it with vodka and a piece of celery. You own an Italian restaurant, you think that tastes good? Where are you even from? Lebanon. <laughs> oh. Hand me those tomatoes. I'm going to show you what it should taste like. Literally. Please, somebody. I want to talk about that interview. I thought it went very well. No, 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 no. You need to be talked to. That's what I want to talk to you about. I may cry, but they are not tears of sadness. Rachel, please, don't make a scene. There's nobody here. Sophie, get in here. What the heck? You see? Now you're making Sophie uncomfortable. He's not making me uncomfortable. Congratulations, you just crossed the line into completely useless. Get out. No. <laughs> the what? one time she speaks. What? Do you want me to quit? What? Said in the interview, I mean, if you believe any of them, I must not be a very good assistant. I am just going to pack up my desk and I will be gone. Well, I guess there's no use me sticking around to the end of the day. <laughs> I didn't want to lose a perfectly good assistant. What? 
That's why I said all those things about your flirting and your drinking. <laughs> My drinking? That you enjoy the occasional drink, Ing Binge. <sighs> I don't want to lose you. What if I create a position for you? I'll, I'll make you assistant buyer in this department. You can have your own office and a raise, effective oh, tomorrow. Oh, wow. I need an expense account. Done. And an assistant. Sophie, get in here. There's no, there's no way. Sophie. Thanks, Ow. Well, maybe Rachel will treat her better. What are you guys doing here? I thought you'd be out partying with sleep? Gandalf. He's not coming. So you've just been sitting around here all morning? I balanced my checkbook. <laughs> Can't believe he didn't come. Well, so what if he didn't come? We could still go out and party ourselves. I don't know. You know, with Gandalf, we'd be out all night. We'll do it all and better. Look, after tonight, Gandalf will want to party with us, dude. Come on. Yeah. 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 It's not like we don't know how to party. Hey, Mon, little question for you. How do you think this suit would look on an assistant fire? Okay, the owner of Alessandro's came over here to yell at me, but instead I made him some sauce and he offered me the job as head chef. Oh, my God. Oh, oh baby, wow. we'll be crushed run my own kitchen. Oh, you've waited so long. No. I think Phoebe might be happy with her about it. You got the job! Oh, you yeah. got the job! Why didn't you tell me? I'm gonna have an office with walls and everything. I'm gonna have walls. Oh. It's actually so great to see her moving up. I got us a job. <gasps> the wedding reception. Phoebe, I, I kind of need to talk to you about that. <clears throat> um, I think it might be time for me to take a step back from the catering. And it just, it feels like it's snowballing, you know? Just be Why don't you just tell her the truth? I got offered the head chef job at Alessandro's. What? You don't really need me for the business. You're the cook! <laughs> all right, but, um... Well, I, I, I'll pay you back all the money you invested, and you can keep the van. I can't believe this. Yeah, I, I knew yeah. she'd be crushed. Oh, Phoebe, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah, good. good for you, Rachel. So oh, we're having fun, right? Mm. We don't need that wizard guy. We hit a couple of clubs, talk to some strangers, and uh, after this, we'll go down to the docks and see about that boat thing. I'm kind of beat. Me too. Wow. Mm. Yeah. Thank God I'm oh. exhausted. <laughs> I strain my voice screaming in there. Does it have to be so loud? <laughs> I can't hear a word you How sad are we? We're not sad. We're not sad. We're just not 21 anymore. Sit in a comfortable chair and watch television and go to sleep at a reasonable hour. Throw on some Kenny G and take a bath. <laughs> we're 29. We're not women. Yeah, that was a little different. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm glad that you decided to hear me out. Okay, I'm hearing. Oh, she got her job. I've been doing a lot of thinking. Well, I came up with a whole bunch of businesses that you can do with your van. Oh, I thought she was gonna offer a job working for her. You could be a flower delivery person. What? Or... <laughs> right, I got a whole bunch of, uh, of stuff in this area, but um, I'm, I'm getting the feeling that you don't want to deliver. Why didn't she think about doing a drive-in massage? You know what? Let's do the catering business. Really? Are you sure? Yeah, you know, I, I made a commitment to you and... Oh, oh it will be fun! Uh -oh. oh, yay! <gasps> okay, ooh, let's plan the wedding reception. Wow. That's a lot of jobs. You really wanted me to do something with this van. I want you to take the chef job. Oh, really? Phoebe, really? Yeah. That's what you really want. Thank you. Oh. Besides, it might be kind of fun to form the new A-team. <laughs> Oh, hi, Mrs. Lynch. Is Joanna in already? Oh, my goodness. You haven't heard. Heard what? what? Joanna passed away last night. Oh, my God. She was hit by a cat. Oh, my God. Oh, I cannot believe it. Oh, I know. Oh, God. I didn't realize that you were so close. So close. I know that this is an emotional and difficult time for all of us. By any chance, did Joanna send any... Paperwork your way, nothing. Imagine if she just stepped off that curb a few seconds later. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, I have to go. I can't believe they actually I did that. I'm shocked that happened. I know. Sophie, I guess you didn't hear about Joanna. She did. I sure did. <laughs> <laughs> Although I do feel bad about having fired Chef Emilio, losing a member of the family. 
literally is the case for several of you. Ooh. Oh, please, tell your father how much we're going to miss him. So without much further ado, I present to you our new head chef. Yeah, she's gonna leave that job. With a pinch of excitement, a dash of hard work, and a dollop of cooperation. <laughs> That's such a Monica thing to say. <laughs> Are you going to kill me? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> they were giving That's why I said she's gonna leave. Death stare. She's gonna leave that job. Fifteen, your personal best. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Where were you? Oh, on a date. Yeah, I met this girl on the train going ooh. to a museum upstate, and I sat near the door so she'd have to pass by me if she wanted to like switch cars. She was totally at my mercy. Were you so late because you were hmm. burying this woman? <laughs> she seems really great, but she's like two and a half hours away. I did it. Huh. Who's stupid now, huh? <laughs> that was gross. I know, seriously, he was like 20 stuck in there. Your life was gonna be this way. The job's a joke you broke. <gasps> oh, it's oh, Christmas time. Oh, is this the time. Christmas one? Oh, um, yes. That oh, paper's yes. two weeks old. <laughs> I really hope, though, they do a Halloween episode at least one of these seasons like you wanted. Have somebody to miss that stuff Literally, with. I need one. Hate being Big Bang alone Theory this time year. <laughs> Next thing you know, it'll be Valentine's Day, then my birthday, then bang! They're lighting that damn tree again. Want somebody! Yeah, but it's Christmas time. Gunther. No, Gunther. Man! <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't even have to be a big relationship, you know? Just like a fling would be great. I get Ooh. that. I really do get that, actually. Well, let me tell you something. It's been a long time since I've been flung. Well, I know what I'm giving you for Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> my God. You know what? There's some nice guys in my office. You want me to set you up? Yeah. Well, how come you've never offered this before? Well, I have a girlfriend. I'm, I'm happy. Okay. <laughs> no one from, like, legal. I like guys with boring jobs. Oh, and Ross was like, what, a lion tamer? <laughs> Everybody at the restaurant still hates me. Oh. I thought I was making headway. Everyone was smiling at me all day, and then I'd get off work and find out that they wrote this on my chef's hat. Ooh. Ooh. Maybe they meant to write quiet, bitch. <laughs> Fine, just trying to be nice. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I have not been picked on this much since I was in kindergarten, and... <laughs> No, it's no, because she was, it's, it's because she was so big, that's why. But this is something I've been waiting for my whole life. Well, why, wait right. a minute, you're the boss. Why don't you just yell at them? I just can't, you know I'm not good at confrontation. Hire somebody just so he could fire them in front of everybody. Then they would all know who was boss. Ooh. Hey, come on, I'm not doing anything. Why don't you fire me? Uh, do you know how to waiter? <laughs> good enough to get fired. <laughs> you're hired. Hey, that must be why I got fired last week. Does this Orson Welles guy direct Burger King commercials? No. <laughs> yes. He's thinking so hard about what to say. <laughs> it was either he forgot his line or he really just needed to figure it out. I say, Drew, are you seeing anybody right now? I'm not asking you out. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gay. I didn't think you were gay. I do now. <laughs> See, my friend, my friend Rachel, she wants to be set up. I'm not looking for anything serious. Kind of a fling that- Watch it turn into something serious. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is this hot Rachel that you took to the Christmas party? I'm free for her. Wait a second, I didn't say I wasn't free. Uh, hey Chandler, no why don't we talk this over at the Ranger what, game tomorrow? Let her choose. You know, I just got a box of Cubans. Maybe I bring them by her off. Wow, <laughs> wow. We can enjoy some eight-year-old small batch basil Haydens. Oh, I don't really know what that is, but let's! Yeah, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I don't know what that is. You guys, I'm writing a holiday song for everyone. Do you want to hear it? Yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> Cody. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't. I'm sorry. I love Phoebe, but no. Uh, Monica. <laughs> May your Christmas be snowy, Joey. It's so hard. Nothing rhymes with your stupid name. Cradle. Mayol, Jail, Bail, Cable. Do you maybe have, like, a nickname that's easier to write? Didn't your dad used to call you Pumpkin? Oh, yeah. Pumpkin, yeah. But did he ever call you, like, Boodolph? <laughs> <laughs> Fifty guys 50. for you. Really? 
Really? Oh, yeah, I just showed them this picture oh, of you, and guys are throwing themselves at me. They're buying me drinks, they're giving me stuff. Nick's tonight? Sure, where are the seats? God. So will I like any of these guys? Well, you know what, I'm gonna uh, play the field just a little bit more. Chiller, you, you work with robots? What? Yes. It's just like with Joey. <laughs> he just says yes. See, not bad at this fixing up thing, huh? But, so what does he do? He works in the fine foods division. Your company has a fine foods division? It's a big company. I don't, if you, I, food and robots? <laughs> No, Joey. The robots just work for them. Exactly. Uh, yeah. Exactly. There you go. You gotta she work. got it. Does anybody have a problem with that? I do. I got a problem with that. You're gonna fire me? You bet your ass I'm gonna fire you. See you later. Thanks. You know that girl I told you about who lives up in Poughkeepsie? Yeah. Yeah? Not her. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this okay. is someone else I met, and I, I can't decide between the two of them. Poughkeepsie, even though she's a two hour train ride away, is really pretty, really smart. This other girl, well, she lives right uptown. I guess she's smart. She's Ross, not what are you doing? fun. <laughs> the, the, then why are you with her? <laughs> What's happening here? I date her at all. Well, I, I want to give her another chance, you know? She lives so close. She's not fun, she's stupid, and kind of a racist. Ooh. Oh my God, Ross, what kind of girl is this? Oh, how was your first day working at the restaurant? Damn! <laughs> oh, well, that's a reason to fire him. <laughs> there you go. Oh, what happened to your fancy chef jacket? They baked it. I can't take this anymore. I'm going to call a meeting. I'm going to fire you tonight. You got it. I think you got it. <laughs> you have the best tasted men. Such a great time last night. I mean, I think this could maybe turn into something serious. Oh, really? no. I, I thought you weren't even looking for something serious. I thought you were looking for some kind of a uh, fling. Well, you know, possibly. You didn't tell him that, though, right? Oh, no. <laughs> you don't tell the guy that. Why not? I'd be thrilled if I heard that some hot girl was just Pussy looking bitch. to get. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> Between you telling him I wanted to have a fling and me putting out on the first date, oh, he's still gonna get the wrong idea. Oh, wow. <laughs> Joey! Hey, Joey, did you pass the cheese? I thought it might be fun to try out a cool work nickname. Hey, Dragon. <laughs> Here's your tips on Monday and Tuesday. Looks <laughs> oh. like there's like 300 bucks in this one. Yeah. Hey, he's actually gonna like the Did the waiters gather around to hear tonight's specials? Why is nobody writing these down? Because we can remember them. For the last two weeks, I have uh, created a positive atmosphere. Can't hear you. <laughs> I've had it up to here. Oh, she's so nervous. Now on, it is going to be my way. Does anybody have a problem with that? Joey doesn't now. Oh, Joey. Does anybody have a problem with that? No, ma'am. <laughs> hey, Joey. he has a name. It's Dragon. <laughs> you wanna know your name? Check your hat. What all just happened? I am so, so money. sorry. I was gonna do it, really. But then I was standing there with $327 in one hand and $238 in the other hand. And I'm... Oh, so that's not bad. <laughs> Joey, we had a deal. That's why you're here. I've got to fire you. And I gotta pay rent. Stay here, I gain their trust, and then they'll start listening to all the nice things I've been saying about you. What kind of things you've been saying? Oh, well, nothing yet. They really hate you, and I want to fit in. Christ, <laughs> what? Bad dream? I wasn't sleeping. What was Phoebe's song about? The one with the cat. <laughs> Got another date. Oh, so did you pick one yet? No, no you don't girl. really like the one from uptown, and you're too exhausted from dating the one in Poughkeepsie. So I say you just end them both. Okay, you take a train up to Poughkeepsie and you break up with her. You're done. You that that actually right. makes sense. Thank you. There was a problem when I lived in Prague. You lived in Prague? So much you don't know. <laughs> if you haven't been to Prague, it's pretty great. <laughs> I've been there. It's, I just would fun. never expect to be living there. Uh-oh. Oh! <laughs> that timing. Patrick just uh, ended things with me. Did you or did you not tell him that I was looking for a serious relationship? I absolutely did. <laughs> you idiot! Ooh. I'm sure you're right, but why? You don't tell the guy that. Now you scared him away. So sorry. You know, you should never be allowed to talk to people. <laughs> Did 
just, oh, now I'm right back where it started. You're gonna meet somebody. You're a great catch. You graduated magna cum laude, right? <laughs> no. No, it doesn't matter. Thank you. Okay. Have you ever been with a woman? Chiller, what is the matter with you? So there is no good time to ask that question. For Gypsy! Oh my god, Ross, he fell asleep. Ross? Ross. Ross. Why is he so tired? Ross. Ross. Because of the train rides going to see her. No way. Can you get me some more swordfish? I don't speak English. <laughs> wow. You did a minute ago. And I'm a good chef, and I don't deserve to have marinara You know what? If you want me to quit this band, then all you have to. Hey, well, I got a problem with it. <laughs> you do? You bet I do. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna fire me? <laughs> you bet your ass I'm gonna fire you. Now get out of my kitchen. Anybody else got a problem? How about you, Chuckles? No. I dance around all covered in sauce, huh? You think it's funny now? <laughs> Now take those salads to table four. And you, get the swordfish. Get a haircut. <laughs> Why? His haircut looks great. <laughs> oh, the stop oh is my my God. real. <laughs> I had to bet with myself that you had beautiful eyes. Now that I see them, I win. <laughs> huh? <laughs> so, coffee? Coffee sounds great. <laughs> there, you, there you go, Ross. <laughs> so you live in Montreal? Oh, no, but it's just a two-hour ferry ride to Nova Scotia. Looks like it's going to be a lean Christmas at the Dragon House this year. <laughs> lean, lean, lean. <laughs> It's all in the same tune. Every song she makes. I know. He said hello to Ross. Happy holidays, everybody. <laughs> I, I, I'm surprised that that one was not as much like Christmassy as I guess I expected compared to like some of the earlier ones, you know? Okay, but he saw the end of Cody and I watching Friends season four, episode eight, nine, and 10 for the first time. I really enjoyed these past three episodes. I will say the one thing that just kind of stands out to me is like Chandler and Rachel's relationship. I just feel like has been so underutilized in some seasons. And just like the last episode, I just, I felt like it's one of the strongest kind of interactions between the friends. Like I just, I love Chandler and Rachel just talking with each other. <laughs> and I guess, I guess also Rachel just getting mad at him, but I just, I not expect to like that as much as I did. The previous two episodes were good. I mean, I honestly think I like the Thanksgiving one more than the Christmas one, which is a rare surprise for me, at least. I just, I felt like the Christmas one was good, but normally some of the other Christmas ones have like focused more on the Christmas aspect. And I feel like this one, you know, it was decorated like Christmas, but there weren't really a lot of the Christmas aspects that like I've seen in some other episodes. But the Thanksgiving one I actually loved. I thought that, I thought that was actually one of the funniest ones. But Cody, what'd you think about them? I don't know. I think my personal favorite one was the Chandler and Joey one. Like the first one we watched with him in the box. Yeah. Um, yeah. I know it was technically, that was the Thanksgiving one, right? Like. Yeah, yeah. That, that, it was yeah. It was technically a holiday one, but I don't know. It was more focused on Chandler and Joey's whole dynamic going on there. Because it did, it, it was, it made sense. You know what I mean? Joey was very hurt by what Chandler did, even though Chandler didn't 100% mean to. I mean, it was still the right thing to do. You know, he showed him how much their friendship yeah. meant to them. And then with the girlfriend coming in and actually kind of making it all come together in a way, you know, Chandler just being okay and staying silent through a breakup, that was different. So, yeah. and, and that little goodbye too with his little yeah. hand. Although I bet that was just, that was so sweet. I think, I think that really showed Joey like, okay, he took this seriously. Don't punish him any more than I have to. Um, stuff like that. So... I don't know. I think that it was very, uh, it was very, it was very good. These last three episodes are pretty good. And then 
Rachel, like, what ended up happening with her? Like, does she still have a job? It's a shame, I, though. I mean, Rachel was actually, like, I, I assume she has to move up. Because, you know, Rachel's been stuck here for, like, pretty much the whole season. Like, even previous season. I just, I feel like it's about time she moves up. So I feel like she has to keep a promotion in some sense. Yeah, I just don't, um, I don't think Monica's going to end up staying at that restaurant. Maybe for a little bit. But I feel like she's got something bigger coming up. Um... I don't know. I, I, I feel like, a, like I said, in, the, in, the, in these middle seasons, I'm expecting them to kind of have a lot of ups and downs. Um, and then finally they'll have their big moments where they get where they want to be in life and everything. Uh, but so far, yeah. it seems like the only one that's really not, you know, living their best life in, in, in lack of better terms is Phoebe. Like she kind of lost the catering business. She lost her job in a couple episodes ago. So like I'm kind of waiting to see where that's going to go. Like, what's next for her? You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and that, that's one thing I actually loved about episode 10 is that just, I mean, episode 9 is just, like, I knew Phoebe was going to get really hurt. I knew, like, when Cody said, like, you know, she'll be so happy for her. Of course, I know Phoebe's happy for Monica, but I know deep down in her heart, like, it, the catering business seemed like such a big deal to Phoebe. So I am just a little bit disheartened that, like, something that was going to be so good for her is kind of taken away now. I, I know something else is going to come up for eventually, but it's just, I felt like that was such a fun potential in a way to have Monica and Phoebe working together, doing their own catering company. But, I mean, get, Monica's opportunity was too big in a way for her to pass up. So it makes sense. I just, I hope in the future maybe they do their catering business together or just, you know, maybe them to just work together in some capacity. Definitely. Well, hopefully you guys enjoyed our reaction to these past three episodes. Once again, you guys can check out the full-length reaction on Patreon as well as Cody's Patreon. We have, he has Young Sheldon on there. He has SpongeBob and he has some movies coming out that we're doing together. So if you want to check those out, make sure to check out his Patreon and I'll see you guys in my next reaction.